Welcome, listeners. On this week's show, we say happy 20th birthday to the Xbox or the Direct Xbox or the PC in a box. And whatever you want to call it, we love it. It's 20 years old. We'll talk about Halo. We'll talk about uh, the con- um, how it was conceived. Lots of stuff, lots of trivia, lots of banter. Come on in. Welcome to Arcade Attack. <laughs> A retro gaming podcast for up to four players. Sonic Boom! Phoenix Bad Geek! Welcome listeners to another Arcade Attack podcast. I'm Dylan, I'll be your host for the evening. I'm with James. (gasps) Good morning, good afternoon, good evening wherever you are in the world. Good to be here. Pleasure having you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I'm with Keith. Hello. Good to be back. And I'm on my Adrian shaped furniture, or am I? No. Adrian shaped no, skeptical. Still got the lurgy. No. <laughs> it's a long lurgy. It's, it's a long lurgy. It's, it's a long one. Bless him. Bless his heart. Bless the guy. We, we miss need, him. We need to give him a bit of a break anyway. He's too busy, like, interviewing, like, the celebs and that. He needs a bit of a break. That's doesn't true. He? He's That's a true. whirlwind, isn't he? Uh, yeah, and he needs a bit of a break from he chatting is, to he's us. He's the Paxman of retro gaming. He's the Paxman. He's the Parkinson <laughs> of retro Michael gaming. Park, retro he's the Parky. Michael Parkinson <laughs> the of Wogan. retro gaming. He's the Wogan. <laughs> <laughs> Wogan. <laughs> he's the Wogan, mate. I'm telling you. He's the best. But anyway, so we've left Adrian at home. But... It's a happy birthday. Ooh. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Xbox. Hey! <laughs> Bonus singing. There you go. There you you go. didn't get this back in November when everyone was doing their 20th. Stevie Wonder, get back in your box. <laughs> their 20th birthday things. Ah, yeah. Well, you know what? We are always late to the party. True. We're always late to... No, but it's fashionably late. We're fashionably late. But yeah. No, it's not fashionably late if you miss someone's birthday party altogether. Well, That's no, rude. I'm trying to put... I'm, <laughs> I'm, trying, rude. I'm trying to put a positive gloss on an otherwise blatant <laughs> miss. I feel, I, feel, I feel like with a little bit more research and planning, we can really be up for Well, all right, okay. Or any. <laughs> Just some. But that, isn't that what makes us great? Why did you trust me with this? <laughs> But, yes, okay, right, let's read it in. So, yes. November 2021 marks the 20th, <sighs> amazing, ah, 20th anniversary of the Xbox console. Stop with these anniversaries. <sighs> it's not yeah, each anniversary takes another year yeah. off my life. Yeah. The Wii one was bad enough. That was this, pretty this bad. Is, this is taking the biscuit. This is, yeah, 20, this 20, is 20 years. Yeah, released in North America on the 15th of November 2001. <laughs> The quite ginormous <sighs> Xbox boomed its way. Literally around. ginormous. Literally physically boomed. giant. Yeah. I mean, people were having to see the chiropractor after their trip, <laughs> after their trip to, you know, um, we buy, um, Best Buy or whatever they were buying it from in, in the States yeah, but, yeah. or Target or whatever. Like, literally, this thing, it's a ginormous. It's almost box it's of big. funds. Yeah. Uh, it's actually classified as a sixth generation console. It does, yeah. So okay. it's alongside the PS2 and the GameCube. Mm. Uh, it was apparently, I, this, everyone knows how amazing my research is. <laughs> so I was like, good thing about my good friend Wikipedia. <laughs> apparently, it was the first major console to be produced by an American company since the, where's Adrian? Atari Jaguar. There you go. <laughs> I mean, the Atari Jaguar kind of broke, <laughs> it broke American console making for quite a while. But then, yeah. So then you had the ex- thankfully the Xbox. The sun rose again. Yeah. The sun rose again. Yeah. The sun rose again. So it was actually announced uh, the a year before, actually maybe a year and a half before in in March two thousand, and we had the pleasure of having Ed Freeze on the show. Mm. So Ed uh, was the head of Microsoft Gaming. I think at the time, yeah, wasn't he? And uh, so he did a lot of stuff with them in the nineties, and then yep, yeah, they were like, "Ed, okay, this is happening," and then it happened. Uh, how did it come about? Really, do you guys know any of the story about this? Or do you want me to fill you in? Fill, fill me in. I'll fill you in. Fill me in. Okay. <laughs> fill me in. <laughs> so apparently, and this is this is I don't know. If the, I can't actually get any kind of interview or anything kind of quote on this. But apparently, Bill Gates, in particular, at Microsoft was concerned that game consoles would be the new kind of entertainment device 
for okay. the household. Yeah, yeah. Um, so sort of like kind of the multimedia yeah. experience. Mm-hmm. Like he was like, ah. This is going to happen. Like, my PC and my Windows. What about my Windows? <laughs> the Windows is going windows. out the window. <laughs> Won't someone please think of my Windows? <laughs> yeah. So, so Bill was... And I think the, the thing he was most worried about was the PS2. Because mm. it had... You of could course. play CDs on it. You can play DVDs DVD on it. DVD It was the thing. And, I, you know, that was the, reason, the main reason I bought a PS2. I, I actually, like, took the gamble and got one. Was because of the DVD capability Same. as well as the yeah. as well as the mm-hmm. as well as me really wanting to play Silent Hill too. But yeah, <laughs> so that was that was why I had one. So the first iterations of it all came about from the Direct X team. Mm. So you know, guys, know whenever you yeah. download something on your PC, like a PC game, mm-hmm. it always checks for what version of Direct X you got. Yeah. Do you guys actually know what Direct X is? I did when I could actually do stuff like that, and then since there has been many years, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, in a nutshell, so DirectX is the thing that bypasses Windows to play games and other multimedia stuff. So for people who know about these things, it's like it's like a whole bunch of like APIs that kind of drag across um, sort of things to do with like graphics and sound and all that other business. So if you haven't got the 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 appropriate version of Direct X for a lot of stuff. It will go, nah, I'm okay. going to play that. <laughs> so, so there's a lot of. I'm listening intently because I have no clue about this yeah, stuff. Yeah, so because I, I when was the, when was the last, last time you even installed a game on a PC? I don't know that I ever have. Yeah, no, even when you had a laptop, you didn't even <laughs> no, have to. Do, not right? long no. ago, but it does check your Direct X version. Every you just time play, you do exactly. It. You just play like Solitaire or something, right? <laughs> yeah. so, so, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of backward backwards <laughs> compatibility with those, but yeah. you'll you'll find like like you won't be able to play some games because of whatever games. There yeah. might even like be like old games that need like really old versions, and like newer versions of Direct X might not support support okay. older versions of direct x and that anyway so the direct x team at microsoft this is the microsoft thing right mm-hmm. they apparently approached ed so this is it this is like they approached ed and we found out from our interview and stuff and i had a little digging around as well uh and they wanted to pitch to him a console called the direct xbox <laughs> <laughs> we, we, are, we, we yeah. can see the problem with that straight <laughs> away yeah so they want to call it the direct xbox Okay, so the Direct X box um, was, and Ed even said in the interview, uh, it's essentially a PC in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> Masquerading. So, so what he said it did was basically, like, the thing that they pitched was something that would, um, what was his word, kind of subtly install the PC game when you weren't looking and then play it like a <laughs> console. So, like, you know, bypassing all the double-click or the installer yeah. thing and all that business. It kind of, all, did, of it all did all of that kind of business Behind the and scenes. then start playing it. So, yeah. you know... For one, uh, for one of a better word, a console. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. No, I know it says in the box. Um, but yeah, so he said like, okay, right now, <laughs> but, <laughs> but this kind of you know the kind of PC architecture for a console was the right was the right thing to do. Mm. So the DirectX team obviously then refined it, and then rather than calling it the Direct the Direct Xbox. Is Sorry, it, who's yeah. the Direct? Turning me into someone with a lisp. Um, it's just <laughs> Xbox. And that, that's what basically that X, that X stems from that kind of, that powered by Direct X. Direct thing. X. Yeah. That's mad, isn't it? And that kind of allowed it to have all those like early PC ports. Like there was, you know, you basically could get PC games running on this thing, mm. but as a console game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like bam. And it was in there. Um, so how similar to a PC is it? Well, well, let's have a little look at some of the specs. Mm. We like some specs, don't we? We yeah. do. So if you, cause you've got my Xbox, haven't you? I Still? have. Yep. I've yep. given it a so good home. Yep. I gave it, <laughs> I gave it to Keith cause I was just like, I cannot, I cannot home this thing anymore. It's taken up my whole house. <laughs> <laughs> it is your um, house. <laughs> I need to give it to you. So I didn't give you Dino, Dino Crisis 3 to be fair. That was no, a bit harsh of me. That was you a bit didn't. harsh of me not giving you that. Did I give you Halo or anything? You, um, you gave me a couple of games. You gave me Max Payne, uh, oh, yeah. Project Gotham Racing. Oh, good. Oh, that's so, good. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't too Did bad. Well, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome Not games. too shabby. Um, but yeah, so it actually had, I say had, it has a 733 megahertz Pentium 3 processor. Yes! Ooh. The Pentium 3. So it's actually, that was actually standard for PCs at the time. I remember having a Pentium yeah. 3 mm. in yeah. the 2000s. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it actually had a Pentium 3 um uh processor. Uh it had a built-in hard disk. It was the yes. first kind of like console of course, before yeah. that. 
just had memory cards. No memory cards here. Yeah. Ooh, no memory cards or um, VMUs or what mm-hmm. other business. Nope. Basically, you could get up to 10 gigabyte. 10 gigabyte. 10 gigabyte. 10 gigabyte. 10 gigabyte. Loads of memory. Oh, the, oh, the, the, the Slovakians are going to get it. Right. Loads of games on there. Listen, listen. <laughs> 10 gigabytes. Ma- but, come on. That's pretty great, right? Mm. 10 and, gigs, you mean, not me. Yeah, what? Well, when I was busy <laughs> 10 trying to. Gigawatts. <laughs> you said gigawatts. Gigawatts. 10 gigawatts. 1.21 gigabytes. Yeah, yeah, I was busy gigabytes. scraping around for extra cash to buy an 8 megabyte. Um, memory card for my PS2 wow. so yeah that's pretty good pretty good man <laughs> do you know what I mean um, but all, all the games ran off disc anyway so you didn't have to install yeah. anything as such but it allowed for things like custom soundtracks do you remember that yes that yeah. 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 so Project Gotham I think is actually one of the first games where you can just like, yeah I like, haven't done that rip, yet rip but... all your like you know Mega, Mega Death CDs or whatever <laughs> yes. and, you can and have then that, play like, it during the game yes yep. so brilliant why do they do that now anyway <laughs> Anyway, right. Great yeah. feature. I would definitely do that now because some soundtracks on games are bad. But anyway, True. I would this do we that. we know. That's another yes. pod. Yes. Anyway. Uh, the graphics in the Xbox are actually controlled by an NVIDIA GeForce 3 based NV2A GPU running at 233 megahertz. So it's pretty... It's, I'm just pulling a face and nodding and pretending well, I know that that's good. NVIDIA GeForce is like standard like, okay. like graphics card. Like, right, right, a, right. You know what I mean? It, it's a PC. It's a PC. It's a PC. It, it literally is PC it's a PC in a black it's a P- box. It's a PC in a box. It's basically a PC on its side. <laughs> it's a PC in a box. <laughs> but the one thing that Ed said in his his interview, and like he was like, the only thing it doesn't do that a PC does is run Windows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I bet you someone has got it running on there. Of course. Because you can mod them. You can mod them. You can mod them. You can play dodgy. There was, there's a hack um, involving um, Splinter Cell. And I'm pretty sure the original Splinter Cell, and there's an exploit that you can do, and you can actually mod an Xbox. Wow. Okay. And you can, yeah. Listen, if That's someone cool. can run Doom on the screen of an HP printer, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> then, then someone can run Windows on Mate, an Xbox. You, can yeah. Doom on, you have to get Doom running on everything. I want to see... Yeah, but on a printer. <laughs> on a printer? Like, why not? You're waiting for your stuff to print. still can't get over that. You're waiting for your stuff to print. But yeah, so it, is, it does have um, memory cards as well. Obviously, if you can, like, you want to move around your, your save... Um, yeah, yeah. You, you, you save you save games on that. Uh, how many units do you guys? Uh, you've looked this up, haven't you, James? You're yeah, looking at me. Like, like, let, let, let me give me a guess. Then. Well. So I'm going to ask Keith. PS2 many... was like 150 million or something, mm-hmm. wasn't it? So oh, I'm going to go. Oh. See now, it's just off. The, I think it was a big success in America, wasn't it? But it wasn't in Japan. Nope. And it was maybe sort of the original Xbox. The 360 was massive over here. Mm. But mm. I feel like the original Xbox mm. wasn't... Oh, you're on, you, you, Yeah, you're kind of on the right uh, okay, uh, I'm probably, probably still going to get it wrong. I'm going to say... A 75 million. Wow. Yeah. James, do you want to fill him in? Go on, how far off? So, uh, there's no easy way to put this. 24 what? mil. No way! Twen- it only sold. There are only now. 24 million units Shit. of this out there. I'm actually mo- flabbergasted. But you were... I, 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 yeah, in terms <laughs> of your reasoning really, to yeah, get where yeah. you got to, it was right. I didn't but, realise. I didn't um, realise. I didn't yeah. want to undercut it too far. But, wow. Mm. Just totally okay. overshadowed. Well, <laughs> this is the thing, right? Because it was a 6th gen console, mm-hmm. for want of a better word, mm-hmm. rather than being a PC in a console shaped box. Yeah. But it was up against some stern competition. Yeah, and the other two in that list I owned. I had the GameCube. I had the mm. PS2. Why do I want why do I want an Xbox? It was like it was like a year after the PS2, wasn't it? Yeah. Near enough. So yeah. it missed so, it missed it by mm. a year. And in fact, maybe in the mm, GameCube, GameCube might be sometime in two thousand and one, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure exactly. I think the release I think the release timing was shocking. There was a lot of things that like the others had going for it. So the fact is, like, Xbox were brand new on the scene. Mm. They were scrambling to get third-party providers to, yeah. to, to make games for it. The, be- the best thing they did was get Bungie, obviously, on board. Of oh, course, cool. yeah. Halo. Halo, well, yeah. enough said about that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what would you need to that's say? That's it, isn't yeah. it? Like, that's it. And then, you know, um, and then they, they, they developed loads of other games themselves. But they didn't have that resi kind of yeah. Mario kind of thing to kind of fall back on. They didn't no, have... No legacy. Like, the PS2 had all of those sequels ready to go for all of those legendary PS1 games. It was just like, you'd always go that way. The next Gran Turismo, Code mm-hmm. Veronica, yeah. Silent Hill 2, yeah. 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 
I mean, they, it wasn't it wasn't expensive actually. They made a loss on the console. The Xbox, mm, yeah. yeah. They made a loss on the console because how much it did was, it retail for? It was kind of the... I don't think it was maybe actually I remember it being about maybe even a hundred quid maybe. I don't think it was like two hundred because P- so PS2 when it launched was two nine nine wasn't it? Mm. I think then when um, the PS2 came down to two hundred, yeah. I think I, the I Xbox think, might have been cheaper. I think there was something around the 150, 150. and the 200 price point, but mm. I think that may have been because um, there was an 8 or a 10 gig, right? Yeah. So I think oh, okay. I think you might have had, if I remember correctly, because I was selling them back then, yeah, I think it was around the 150 mark. Mm-hmm. Um, I it think was cheaper than the That's the, the one that most people went for. I think it could have been a bit more than that, mm-hmm. but don't forget, obviously... It's funny that, though, because I quick. have a perception that it was more expensive. Because it's massive! Yeah, you but then you're bigger. thinking about the Series X and it's bigger. Five. But see, Microsoft yeah. Microsoft went down the route that like '90s games consoles m- manufacturers did, like make a loss, make on a loss, the, on make the console, a loss on the hardware up, because yeah. you make it on the yeah. software. And they did, didn't they? Let's be honest. Like all of those games that came out of the Xbox. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll invite you guys to share your your Xbox memories in a minute. I'm not sure Keith has too many of these. Um, <laughs> not but really. the reason that I, I liked one back in the day was because my housemate, Craig, at uni, had one. Hmm. And Craig listened to the show. Hello, mate. There you go. I'm finally doing <laughs> Hi, an Xbox. Hello, Craig. <laughs> Hello, mate. We're finally doing an Xbox um, uh, podcast. But yeah, so it, he had one. And this was only like 2004, 2005, I really got yeah. to, to play it. But a lot of the games that he had, I had on the PS2. And for some reason, they just felt better on the Xbox. He mm. had San Andreas. I had San Andreas. He had SSX3. I got SSX3 afterwards on the PS2. wasn't as good. He had, like, Worms. What's the th- Worms 3D? Oh, man, we had so many good times on that. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I remember one time we got so bored, we had, like, a harp playing in the background, like, the way shines on TV, <laughs> nice. and it's, like, spinning around the camera and stuff. That was pretty fun. I mean, Excellent. that would have made, that made good YouTube content. That made, <laughs> yeah, That would have made good YouTube content. And uh, we used to have... Not with Halo 1 so much, but with Halo 2, we used to have LAN parties. Yeah, <laughs> so LAN parties. Plug them in. So Halo 2, when he first got Halo 2, I was like, mate, this is amazing. We missed so many lectures. <laughs> so many lectures playing that game. <laughs> hey, I still got two on it. <laughs> hey. um, but yeah, but it's like, oh my God, just, oh, it was so good. I got I got really good at a game. Like, you can't imagine me being good at video games, right? <laughs> I was actually pretty good at Halo what? too. Like, I like like it was Craig, um, me, and like my mate John, and like we just like spend days like playing this. And we're like, oh, we're pretty good. We can take on Dan and his house at this. So we went like right Dan's house and they like, took. Oh, okay, actually, at our, our at our house, the living room was big enough that we could whack them over one side with one telly, whack us over another side with another telly, and then like put the the LAN cable in. That was fine. That was a mission to get that set up. Wasn't but it? then, but that wasn't too bad. What was bad at their house was their li- their front living room like wasn't really big enough for it. Oh. So we had to go in the bedroom above and dangle the cable oh out the window onto the road. No. Onto the road. <laughs> and nice. they took it back in. <laughs> well, oh man, it was so good. We just like... Gaming those problems. Yeah. Gaming problems. Yeah. Those sessions would last all day. It was so much Wicked. fun. But yeah, so Halo 2 was just like the one. I think I still love it. I've still got a copy of it on the shelf over there. Like, I just... I, I've, I won't part with it. I love it. It's, it's a piece of history for you. I love it? it. I love it. It is. So those are my sort of my favourite earlier Xbox memories. And when I when I had the chance to pick one up on the cheap, I had mm. to do it. But yeah, it was it was mainly to play Dino Crisis three. <laughs> Why did I do this? <laughs> you suffered yeah. for your art. I really did. I've, I've suffered for this podcast. That's for, <laughs> that's, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, those are my sort of my fir- my favourite memories of it. But uh, again, two thousand one, two thousand two, two thousand three. Didn't even know about it. That's mm. sad, isn't it? I said all those years I didn't know, like, didn't actually realize how powerful it was. But it's a, a you know, it was way more powerful under the hood, yeah, than those consoles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, it, then it sort of let on. Yeah. yeah. So when they started getting all the same, so when San Andreas got ported, mm. you know, when the Silent Hills got ported, people started seeing like, wow, wow, this isn't blurry. No. What's happening here? Graphics, yeah. loading time. Yeah, yeah. You know, transitions all just kind of stepped up. But you had one, didn't you, James? I yeah. did. I had one indeed. I had yeah. a large PC on its side. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and also, another another thing that's worth mentioning as well, because this is just something which sticks out in my mind, the controllers were massive. Oh, yeah. Like, But I remember, I specifically remember there was a standard controller mm-hmm. that you could have, and it was obviously a, a very odd 
um, way of holding control at the time. Cause Slant, the, th- the, the yeah. slanty buttons and everything. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was all very new, and I, but it all it felt right, you know. Mm-hmm. But then they manufactured, <clears throat> and I, I, I'm sure Microsoft did one of these, and it was a, obviously third party to hell and back, you know, as they all did Mad Cats and all that. Yeah, back yeah. But I'm pretty sure that Microsoft did a, a controller, and it was like an oversized Xbox controller. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain I had one of these, and it was, it was. <laughs> I mean, the standard control was big enough. Mm. Yeah, this thing was even for my great yeah, big yeah. hands. But this one was enormous. It was huge. Like I don't know why you'd need a controller so big, but. I just remember there, there was a, a selection of, of controllers and, and they sort of went up through the sizes. But one of them was just so ridiculous. The one I mean, that they but, kind of iterated on, like the original one, is the the one that the current one is based on. Yes, yeah. Which is the one. I'm sorry. It is, it the, is, it's, it is the controller of all controllers. It is the one. And I, sorry, Keith. And I've played, no, I've played, <laughs> and I played all the Dual Shocks, and, you know, I've had all the PS, yeah. all the PlayStations. <laughs> And I just, that Xbox controller is the It just one. feels right, doesn't it? And it just, it, I don't know what it is. It, maybe, maybe it's different for a left-handed player, because... Possible. Because obviously you've got the... Th- are you are you lefty? Mm. Ah, you learn something every day. I am, yeah. But, uh, I mean, how much sort of current Xbox controller time have you had? Only a bit. Only but a bit. I mean, I, I know, okay. you know, it does feel nice. And, mm. uh, you know, I'm no, I had an Xbox 360, so okay. it's only re- it's an evolution of that, isn't yeah. it, really? Um, and I, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I really enjoyed the last PlayStation controller. The PS5 um, one. The PS5 one is yet to really grow on me. I've got to be honest. Ooh. But yeah, well, maybe we'll come back to that. Yeah. Um, but a DualShock 4, I bloody love. I mean, um, everybody's got their, their preference. Of course, everyone's got their preferences. Isn't yeah, I, yeah. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, t- I think most people would say about the Xbox controller, just, something about it just feels very comfortable. The one thing really for me, yeah. the one thing for me is uh, that I prefer about the DualShock is the analog sticks being on the same level. Oh it's yeah, always, yeah, I've yeah, always yeah. found it really odd. That you see, the I, Xbox I, I, I go the other way. You see, because I, I like I, again, you know, played the PS2 to absolute yeah, light yeah, till yeah. it died, mm-hmm. um, and got really, really used to the control mapping on that yeah but for some strange reason as soon as i picked up an xbox controller and mm. had that left thumbstick elevated slightly for my left hand i don't know what it was it, it that just felt there right. must be a reason why they it did just it. felt right maybe it's it just... an ergonomic thing but i, I, I think I, it is on a postcard I, 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 I still, yeah they i still wanted... find that odd I, in my brain they should be level when i don't know it's weird it's a weird well thing. they just chose to have the d-pad kind of parallel to yeah, that and then obviously you right. can flip up if you wanted to go analog mm. which i kind of i don't i like i just prefer it it just, yeah, it's it's just, it just feels a more natural it's weird and it's the one D-pad, of those yeah i think the d-pad is better than the the dual shot d-pad as well i just love it i just think it's just i do great. actually i do like that on the, the x like the xbox one d-pad. the d-pad has the almost d-pad it's almost like a retro d-pad isn't it yeah, because yeah. it's, it's, it's got it's the, the rocker everywhere isn't yeah. it whereas yeah, the, the, the dual shot was the individual the, buttons, digi- it? the digital yeah. d-pad on playstation controllers has never been a strong point they right just back, don't want you to right use back, it yeah right yeah, back yeah. from the ps1 it was never it. yeah, up to much but yeah so yeah so anyway, anyway sorry yes. we've gone off sorry, a but no, but, got... no but you touched on something that was in my notes the controller oh, perfect. <laughs> and obviously how like you know my, you know xbox it might not have seen that they were you know bleh. Uber Innova- innovating. That's the one. <laughs> That's innovating. the word. Innovating at the time, that. but that is they did like they mm. made that that perfect kind of ergonomic controller, and that, that was after the, the the Duke, which was the which is the big one, isn't the it? big one. That so like, they first. look at this Duke and they was yeah. like, hmm, okay, well, there's something wrong here. Yeah. <laughs> then they're like, whoever, whoever then took it upon themselves to make it okay. Well, yeah. let's like you know let's let's um, make all the sort of the main buttons like parallel to each other rather than the weird kind of yeah. thing. Uh, and then like they made them know, round, borrowed they, a little well? bit. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, made them round. Of, so yeah, and it just kind of it just works. It mm. really just works on most. It stuff. does, and it's one of those pretty weird things. No pun intended. You can't really put your finger on. <laughs> but there you go <laughs> anywho so i mean my, my the way i got my xbox was quite interesting working at um dixon's at the time nice. to, went in as a christmas temp 2003 nice. baptism of fire nice. Jesus wow. Christ. Yeah. um yeah november 2003 it was mental because that yeah, was you know, online was very infant and you know the stores were just absolutely rammed mm. um and dixon's of course well known for oh, Lisa loved um, selling games and and you know it, it carried on throughout then um and i i had a manager at the time and he was um great guy great laugh mm. um called alex and he he had uh an xbox at the time mm. and he's renting and raving about it to everybody i happened to mention to him that i was kind of like looking for one you know mm. like, did my toe in the water or whatever because i had ps2 already mm. and he he proceeded to basically like 
build this package on the desk, yeah, or my, buy one of the tills. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, what? He goes, don't worry about it. Look, look, I, I saw it out. I saw it out. I was like, what are you doing? Anyway, he built this. He, so he got me. A, he got me the Xbox. He got me like the the the, the adapter, the wireless adapter. He got me um, all sorts of stuff. Um, and he, he 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 got games and everything. And I was like, what are you doing? Anyway, he goes to me. Well. You know, you want to get one, don't you? I said, yeah, but it's, this is like 400 quid worth of stuff here. <laughs> anyway, so in 2004, mm. obviously, as we know, mm. they were dishing out credit cards to God knows whoever. Mm. You know, credit was just available at the yeah. tap of a, you know, a shoe. Mm. And um, he basically put this thing through for me. And obviously, I was eligible to, to buy it on, yeah. you know, through credit, monthly yeah. payment. Was, yeah. It was all above board and everything. Put it yeah. through and it went through. <laughs> And I was like, I felt at the time like I was a bit kind of press gang <laughs> into buying this console. He was like, you can sign up yeah. for your credit. He, he was like, well, yeah, we'll just do it on this. And at the time I was like, eh, uh, ooh, yeah. um, okay. So, <laughs> I mean, in hindsight, it's what got me to kind of into the Xbox. Yeah. I, I never would look mm. look back on Did he even that. give you a discount? I think so. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> give me a cracking deal on it. But anyway, got, yeah, you know, got, me, got the LAN adapter and the games and everything for it. Anyway, and then... It just kind of went from there, but it was just such a strange way of getting hold of a console. It wasn't Mate. that whole Christmas or birthday thing. I bought it, but I hadn't paid for it yet, <laughs> sort of thing. And I was like, "This is a bit weird." Well, how Are you still I- paying it off? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It cost me about twenty five thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah, but I've just I've just strapped it onto the mortgage. <laughs> but um, yeah, I and and that was that's where it went from there. And we, in the shop, we used to have we used to get all of the demos of the cabinets, you know, the cap with the Samsung TVs, mm-hmm. and we had Project Gotham on there and there was a couple of other games in there as well and those just got absolutely hammered yeah. you know because we used to stay after work and play them and and stuff like that but yeah it was a very um it was almost a bit mysterious you know this new kind of massive black box mm. with the green xbox similar and it was really strange because everyone was banging on about the ps2 of course mm. and then this came along mm. and it was this great big lump mm-hmm. Um, and it was just, it was just interesting everybody's reaction because some of the games they looked at they were like wow yeah these look and run like smooth as anything mm-hmm. especially Project Gotham with with the um like with the demo where you've mm. got the cars driving the Ferraris driving along and you've got the camera angles and people are like what like that's a game mm-hmm. like that's not just an advert like that's actually you can play that that kind of game mm-hmm. it's so amazing what um, they did with those yeah and it was so cars. weird how everyone was sort of like hooked on it but mm-hmm. that's. That was that's great job by their marketing teams, yeah. You know, um, to get that hook because they didn't have anything else. They had nothing else to no crutch to lean back on, did they? Like you said, like they, not, not, not yeah, no big, yeah, or no big franchises to you know, no, so prop them up. No, exactly. I mean, I you know I had particular um, games for me, Forza. Yeah, obviously the first Forza. Yeah, the first yeah. Forza was yeah. such a great alternative to um, Gran Turismo, Turismo because yeah, that's, yeah. that's what it was supposed to be. Mm. But it was it was sort of a bit edgy. It was a bit edgier than Gran Turismo. You know, it was a bit kind of Gran Turismo. Was, I felt I felt almost a bit straight laced. But a great, yeah, game. No, again, yeah. Um, but it was very, argue it was very textbook, yeah, yeah. It's very you know, serious. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, for people who were into cars, probably an absolute dream. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. but I felt Forza was a bit kind of edgy and a bit like you know, it was more accessible. Yeah, I, d- I don't know what it was. It just felt a bit more gritty. But um, also had a couple of the Rainbow Six games as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rainbow Six Black Arrow in particular I used to play that online in um, with a, a group of mates. And it became a, like a religious thing. It's like, that online thing as well. Like just even got into though that. the PS2 oh. had online capability, how many people do we do actually even use that? Mm. I don't even know anyone not who's high. ever. <laughs> not, you know, not many people even use the Dreamcast. Like the Dreamcast was the kind of like the the online thing to have. No one even. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. no one. <laughs> no one had Windows, didn't it? Yeah, win- it had Windows CE. Yeah, but that's the other thing. Like because um, Ed said in the interview that the Windows CE people tried to get him to make games for it. Yeah, you know, on that yeah. bit. So like actually, so you can you actually boot the Dreamcast in Windows CE mode and then just play games. And I'm like, why would you want to do this? I'm like, oh okay. And and, and oh, Microsoft no. were the ones accused of their console being actually a console a PC. Sorry, I swear to God, when you boot it up Sega Rally, it comes up with the CE logo. Anyway. I don't know about the internet. I'll just on a postcard. If anyone knows on the socials. Yeah. Anyone who actually knows any Windows C platform games on the video cards, yeah, please hit us up. Uh, but yeah, so it was really was the kind of the, the console to kind of get that Xbox, the you know, Xbox Live and that kind of mm. online Xbox stuff. Live. I mean, I've been I've been a member now for eight no eighteen years, <laughs> seventeen years. Wow. Yeah, I've been on it. Since like two thousand and nine, yeah. So uh, I've been. It must be. It must be sixteen. It must be two thousand. It's got to be two thousand four. 
No, mm. 204. So what's that? 17. Wow. Was that? Yeah. It's good though, isn't it? Like 17 years. Yeah. I it's mean, it's that ability to kind of like, like get games online and stuff. And well, it's, it's free games. It's discount on games. Mm. It's, um, heads up on stuff as well, but it's, it's mm. just also the ability to kind of play everything online with whoever you want. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, keep the friends lists, do the party chats, mm-hmm. all that sort of stuff. And it's, it's just, it's just so well put together. I mean, you know, and it, and it grew all the way through, you know, Xbox to 360 because they mm-hmm. changed the dashboard completely mm-hmm. and then they updated halfway through the 360 to, mm-hmm. to make it smoother. Um, you know, and, and, and it's just kind of grown and grown and it's, uh, you know, th- th- there's a lot of, um, devil in the detail. You know, it's, it's some, some really fine tuning they've done. But I mean, the original Xbox had. As it's you say, left. It's left a massive legacy. I'm going to come on to yeah. that in a little bit. But so the biggest games, like I think you mentioned a couple of them there. The, the, the Halo. Halo, Halo was the thing. Goes without saying, doesn't it? Halo was the thing. So like the la- the launch, the three major kind of launch titles were Halo, Project Gotham, and Dead or Alive Three. Yeah. It's pretty juicy. That is pretty juicy. <laughs> it's pretty juicy. That is a, the trifecta. <laughs> than one. The trifecta. Yeah. The trifecta. And, you know, <laughs> Master Chief has sort of came into our world. Mm. All guns are blazing. Literally. All guns are blazing, though. I mean, I tell you, like, that that game, I spent so many hours on those Halo games. Were you? Three, <laughs> ODST. It is just They like, were mental, weren't they? Like, mu- like big multiplayer matches as well. And oh. like, especially, especially when you had, and I remember one in particular, that I, I, I can't for the life of me remember which of the Halo games it was on, but it was one of the originals. And it's this enormous thing that's in the middle of the screen, and it's almost like this big bowl, this ca- like, like canyon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're basically trying to kill it. Yeah. And, and you're, there's, there's so many people like around in terms of playing the game in the room with you. And you're in there with like a bunch of mates. And I just remember driving around on a warthog. Warthog. And just going mad around a yeah, warthog. Below the mate mates. on the back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just, <laughs> bang, bang. Like, just all this shouting down the mic and all this cursing. And I was like, I, yes, yeah. this is what it should be about. I used to love, like, Halo, the thing about Halo 2 was I just used to love the plasma sword and just like run, <laughs> like running up behind people and going, boom. <laughs> That's some of that. <laughs> oh, it was so good, man. Oh, I just love it. It just, yeah. I think the Halo. Have you played the the later the latest Halo games? Very briefly, um, but but not uh, not enough to probably mm. be any kind of authority on it. But yeah. um, the kind of the online thing scares me now. I'm like, I want, well, this I is wanna, the thing. This is the thing with online it. now. It's it's when it was newer and in its infancy, you sort of had everybody was kind of competitive because you, mm. you're on the same level. Like no one was able to rack up ridiculous game time because it hadn't been out for that long. Mm-hmm. Whereas now, you know, you've got career pros mm-hmm. who go on and, you know, they're on there and they make money out of it, you know, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, all power to them. Fair enough, you know, but mm-hmm. average Joe's like, you know, you and me mm-hmm. who come home from a day's work or do whatever and want to sit down and play a game. You just get absolutely mm-hmm. turned inside out in two mm-hmm. minutes, you know, and they're supposed to be algorithms and things which, you know, match make, but. That would really mm. that work. But that's, I, th- I think that's why we'll always remember the original so fondly, mm-hmm. you know, because you had really good campaign modes, um, you know, which, which obviously at the time were running great graphics and it was mm-hmm. all really smooth. As ever. And the multiplayer was competitive. You didn't get absolutely mullered mm-hmm. because you were you could go in and be competitive. Yeah. Because you, you played through the campaign, which kind of gave you enough, you know, mm-hmm. cogs in the, in, the, in the machine to be able to f- fight. Mm-hmm. Um, you didn't just get flattened. You know, you, you might have had a tough match, mm-hmm. but you didn't have people which were just constantly, you know, mm-hmm. destroying you, mm-hmm. <laughs> which I think was good. so annoying. So annoying when that happens. Um, Microsoft <laughs> realized pretty quickly what was going wrong. So, about a year in, you know, this thing, okay, only sold 24 million units. They realized that, you know, Sony were keeping stuff like Resi and yeah. Metal Gear Solid, uh, the Grand Theft Autos. Yeah. Um, but then Microsoft acquired Rare, yes. and then they yeah, and then they managed to get um, Take Two Interactive's exclusivity uh, deal with, for the GTA games sort of changed. Mm-hmm. So they got like they got the the your Vice City and, yeah. your, and your San Andreases, and they all came to the Xbox. So they kind of realised <laughs> what was going on, and then. It was actually discontinued in 2005, so that's when the, the 360 came about. But before then, you had the Splinter Cell games. Mm-hmm. They were fun, man. They were fun. It was a bit like a bit like yeah, Metal a, Gear, yeah. but but know, not. But the sneaking yeah. was harder to do. Yeah. But I liked all the stuff about you can like put the little kind of camera under the door. Oh and stuff, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like this, and Shove people in lockers. Like, oh <laughs> yeah, look at that. Um, Fable. 
I yes. love Fable. I'm so glad you're talking about Fable. I'm talking about Fable. I think that was when... I think that was one of those kind of landmark... It was Halo 2, and the other one was Fable. Yes. And going, wow. This is... Wow. Look at this wonderful, like, open, like, world. And, like, I can be this guy. And can, like, you know, tear stuff up. And, like, with all the... Well, you could tear stuff up or not. You could, or it was not. your choice, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the best yeah. part about it. Obviously, it changed your appearance, <laughs> didn't it? But, yeah, it was just so good, Fable. So good. Fable was... Um, you, you could that almost, was Lionhead again, wasn't it? I yeah. Think, like, see, no... That was a rabbit hole, what I call a rabbit hole game, where nice. you could, you, you, you'd start playing and you just lose, you know, days, just days time, days days. you know, would go, we've all been there. Yeah. Mm. But it was just things like you could, you know, things like when you got, kind of got into a relationship and you could decide where that relationship would go <laughs> and if you'd have kids and all this sort of stuff. It was a great game. Mm-hmm. Question for Keith though. <laughs> if you could go back in time and switch your PS2 for an Xbox, would you do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly. No. What is it? I love my PS2. What for you then? What well, obviously like those were I mean you've got your PS2 in 2008. Yeah, I didn't I mean, it's not like it's not like oh no my PS2 is better than your Xbox. It's, it's not literally that. it's just at it was the time, literally it was, around before. At the time I got the PS2 first. <clears throat> yeah. Cuz I had a PlayStation. I loved the PlayStation like you said. Mm-hmm. I knew the sequels to a lot of games I loved mm-hmm. was com- were coming to PS2. Mm-hmm. I knew it was a DVD player. Mm-hmm. That was very exciting. Mm-hmm. Um so I splashed my student loan money on it. Custom soundtracks. Custom yeah, soundtracks. But again, but again, Halo. again, you're talking about the time. Project the, Gotham. The, the, burnout. Forza. <laughs> all the burnout, burnout games. games. All well. the burnout games had, but, but, but again, but, they look better, better on the Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> but uh, you got to remember as well, back then we were stu- students. Yeah. Um, I had PS2, so mm. there was no way I could afford an Xbox no, no, as well. There's no way I could yeah. have both. And there were, I didn't see enough at the time. Mm. Where I thought I'm going to trade in my PS, I'm going to get rid of my PS2 and all no, my games. No, that never came across my mind. No, the PS2 was so Xbox. strong. I never thought once about you know. I did, I, you know, I did, I did see it and I did see games running. I think bloody hell, that, well, you know, that. like you know, Dead or Alive and Project yeah. Gotham and stuff like that. Mm, yeah, maybe, the, wow. maybe the graphics are a little better. <laughs> but you know, and now I mean, you say that now it's interesting because obviously one one of my favourite games on PS2 is Outrun 2006. Yeah, and now I've got your Xbox and I've played Outrun 2 mm. on the Xbox. It blows it away graphically. Get well, get, get, get coast to coast on the Xbox as well. I will. I will. <laughs> um, so there's yeah, there's obviously you can see the difference mm. in power. But you missed um, a lot of Dreamcast 2 games. Well, this is the other thing. And again, again at the time, we I don't know. This at the time, I wasn't really aware of the fact that that's kind of what happened to really? Sega was their games and sequels to games that I'd enjoyed had started to appear on Xbox. Mm-hmm. Um, Rather than doing the Dreamcast 2, mm, they basically pushed those, yeah. those games onto the Xbox. Yeah. Turncoated. They don't go in any way. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I, I have no, so to speak. I have no regrets. That's another, you know, that's another reason to have an Xbox. Yeah, but then I suppose... I, I was happy to give it a good home deal. So, <laughs> you know, it, you know it's, it's in my games room and I have played it and I bought some games mm. for it. So I'm looking forward to playing more of it. So it's, it's, it's cool in a way because I missed mm. out on it first time round. And now, they are it's robust. all like it's all new and oh exciting. My it's like, God. they are robust. Proof, I mean, we're talking, they are massive things, but the, mm. the, what's actually inside them, especially compared to the 360, right? Oh, don't. They are, just, <laughs> they, are just, they are just robust things. I think now mm. you're getting to a point where they might start to yeah. be decomposing. Yeah. But like, yeah. But no, it's, 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 I'm, I'm enjoying play, getting into one for the first time, so it's cool. Well, but no, thing, I have no regrets at, at the time. I would have always sort of stuck with my PS2. But you know, if there was like you know, like hailstones as big as your head falling from the sky, would you hide under like a pile of dirt? As they say, you should do a da da da, or an Xbox? Definitely an Xbox. Get the Xbox. That's a no-brainer, <laughs> isn't it? Boom! And then the Xbox <laughs> will be perfectly playable for years yeah. to come after the hailstorm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think the only, the only just to clarify, I wasn't some rich student guy who. Had <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I had both was because I, I actually traded in quite a hefty amount of PS1 games. Uh, um, smart. With, with, I had loads of PS1 games and peripherals mm. and stuff. Yeah. Um, I think it was at Game at the time, mm. or Electronics Boutique, whichever one it was. And yeah, and I got a, quite a nice price for it and then went for the PS2. Mm. And then obviously I got strong armed into, <laughs> you know. Uh, getting the Xbox on credit, mate. But, um, I love it. Well, you know that's the way. As you look back, and it's it's funny, but that's how that's how I got both. And 
but I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know what it is. There isn't there isn't a single thing I could say to you. Oh, that's what made me continue down the mm. line of Xbox. I can't tell you. I can't because there's lots of things I can say, but there's not one definitive thing which kind of did it. It's just mm. one of that you can't put your finger on it. Mm. Mm. Strange, but yeah, that's. I never got a, another PlayStation after that. Did we ever me. think that like <clears throat> we'd get? It's argue well, arguably the PlayStation is still the the leader, the, the kind of the market I mean, it is, it is the market leader, just in terms of it, units. It is the unit market leader, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, you know, you can argue about what's Who would have thought but... that the Xbox now would be the close second, though? The t- yeah, I've, not then, definitely. No the one legacy, really knew how it was going to pan out. Yeah, but I find, like, legacy-wise, mm. that console has a lot, has a lot to, yeah. to answer for. I, I think a lot of the responsibility of what, what's good about it lands at the door of Xbox Live. Yeah, mm. because the online platform is without. I mean, I'm you know, it's I, amazing. I, it's, it's so fantastic. Easy. It's so usable. Mm-hmm. You can use it if you're new to it. Mm-hmm. You can fully customize it if you're you know you've been a member for years and years like I have. You can you know, and there's you can customize almost everything to to to, to make it work kind of for you. Mm. But also the way they integrate the store, the Microsoft Store. Mm. You know, apps, games. You can li- everything's at your fingertips. Mm. You know, and and. That might be the case for a lot of app stores and things, but it's very fluid. Mm. It's very easy. It, there's no kind of um, barriers between you and getting what you want. Um, and the other thing as well, which might seem small to a lot of people, but mm. the chat, <clears throat> the chat mode. Yeah. In Since I've had an online mm. capability for an Xbox, I have never had a drop chat on an Xbox. No. Ever. Yeah. Uh, not that I can remember anyway, yeah? Have I had a drop chat in a game chat where, mm. where it's relying on purely the game, yeah? So your Activisions or whatever. It's tr- Yes, every blooming game. Well, you've just, uh, you yeah. just reminded me, unfortunately, unfortunately, one of the last chats I had on Xbox chat was years ago with our friend Ricky. Oh, Ricky oh wow. Bless him. Passed away, actually, just before, I think it can't have been that, that much longer before he passed away but yeah you should chat on there a fair bit actually so it is that that kind of thing like you never really did that online chat thing before with before xbox it's 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 funny it's it's funny you say that because that that actually is quite a a sort of an emotive subject for a lot of people Mm. Mm. because uh, for me as well because there's people make friends they they, they make friends through games Mm. and also you i i I had a a situation where i used to play a, a, a I lost about six months of my life to Gears of War and on the, on the 360. And, mm. you know, the chat thing was great because it facilitated mm. making some mates, you know, different parts of the country and everything, mm. common interests, <clears throat> really enjoying the game, enjoying mm. each other's company. And then, you know, you do hear stories about, unfortunately, you know, you get mm. someone passed mm. away or, yeah. um, you know, what, whatever it was that happened to them, was, you know, which is inevitably going to happen if you've got a wide circle of people you mm. know and whatever. But it was, I don't know, that it was such a, it facilitated kind of the social the online social community um and maybe that's a maybe that's a big part of it mm. um because xbox chat's always been a a big plus on on the on the xbox kind of legacy yeah so but yeah seeing friends online you know saying well this is another thing i think that ed pushed for isn't it yeah that it was easy to get the thing online yeah yeah so if the thing wasn't easy to get online People wouldn't Xbox do Xbox Live wouldn't yeah. be like obviously what it is now. Yeah. So and you know brings people together and was it Game Pass? I love Game Pass. I love Game Pass. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've I've made made a note here for some some like honourable mentions. I think Batman Begins. I used to, I love that on on Xbox. I've not played that. <gasps> He of, he of, it's a massive fanboy no, Batmanism. I, I, I think it's on the PS2 as well, but the, oh, the Xbox version is fantastic. The Burnout games, obviously, all yes. of them. Yes. Yes. All of them. Three. Burnout Craig, free takedown. Craig wow. has three. We, 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 we yeah, agent keep saying we're going to do yeah. a Burnout podcast Crash someday. into the bus. Oh, yeah. so good. It's just brilliant. Road just like smashing. Yeah, yeah, that smashing. was my favorite. Yeah, but on a yeah. massive, like, scale. Yeah. 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 You get home from like you know wherever you were, school, work, college, etc. Yeah. I need to crash. Yeah. <laughs> Great stuff. Midnight Club, like the the racing game. Dub edition. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, Project Gotham. You know all Great. the Sega games, including the Outrun game, mm. Shenmue Two. Yeah. You know it just had so many good games on it. But it was curtailed because of the 360 mm. and how much more powerful that was. But the the legacy that it's left is that. It, 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 its architecture is now what consoles are. Consoles are now PCs. PCs in a box. Yeah. Consoles yeah, yeah, yeah. are now gaming PCs mm. at a discount. 100%. Well, I say True. discounted. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really but, anymore. Yeah. Well, <laughs> depends on your point of view, I suppose. Yeah. yeah but. 
maybe the last generation was when you can pick <clears> up an Xbox One or a PS4 for under 200 quid, mm. then that, that definitely is a cut price gaming PC. But mm. now it's like, uh, what? <laughs> 600, 700 so, quid? So, so six, uh, six what? Is that, is that yeah. two zeros on I the mean, end of that? This is the thing. I'd, I'd love a Series X, but they're just you and me way both. expensive. It's- just can't justify even uh, i can't justify the outlay i just i'm going to trade up for a series s and just have the digi stuff and my current library i think for the time being and game Pass. that's probably a smart move and we'll see again if i earn my money in like next year or whatever <laughs> then i might yeah then i might kind of go and get a series x but it is i think you know the, the xbox console has a lot to answer for you know it is definitely brought sort of gaming to to where it is now um, and the other, the, the other, I keep on going back to like why I didn't own one at uni. It's because I couldn't carry it on the train. It's too heavy. <laughs> oh, my bag. It's a heavy umbrella. <laughs> I went to university in Wales. I can't carry that it's thing in way. my bag. Yeah, There'd be no way. room for my clothes. So I'm like, I have to leave my clothes <laughs> home. But yeah, no, it's a great console. Um, I don't know if you guys have anything else to say about it before we go. Well, you know, I've not been able to say too much because I didn't have one. Mm. Um, but I will say, like you're talking about the legacy, mm. my first online experiences was with the Xbox 360. Yeah. So without the Xbox, <laughs> you know, that would never you wouldn't happen. have had the 360. Yeah, yeah. And so you know, the, and it was easy to get online, and it was yep. an X. And I had Xbox Live as well all the time. I had a 360. Mm. Um, so you know, I, I sort of felt the effects of that legacy. Mm. Do you remember the first time that we played online, <laughs> and you could hear my, you could hear my voice? Uh, we'd never done it. Dylan's voice was coming from. It seemed to be coming from the Xbox. <laughs> I was like, this is, oh, this is yes. so weird. Yeah, you this could. So actually, weird. Yeah, and we were playing Pro Evo <laughs> badly. Um, it was like really laggy. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but yeah, again, it was just a quite, it's quite a funny memory. <laughs> Dylan's disembodied voice was coming from the Xbox. Was like, it's like, he was auditioning. Dylan? He was auditioning for Game <laughs> Master. <laughs> <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so dear. yeah, so you know, and, and, and yeah, we'll probably talk about it in future. But I love the 360, so I'm certainly not an Xbox hater. Well, it's only not another. Like it's that. only another four years till that till, till, till that <laughs> thing's right. tw- 20th anniversary oh, or something. Stop. Yeah, stop, stop. Uh, yeah, not 2005, far off, yeah. 2006, yeah. I think it was. I yeah, think, it I, th- be I think it was six. I was think. it 05 North America? And it might have been 06. Maybe, maybe. I think I seem to remember 06 was here because I was actually yeah. there for launch day um, when when we'd kind of changed over to a different name at Dixon's. So but. when when we celebrate our 10th anniversary, we'll be celebrating the Xbox the 20th, 20th anniversary. 20th anniversary. <laughs> That'll be fun. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got five years to make some notes. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I have a lot of fond memories of, of that. Obviously, all the games you've just said, I've got other couple of other ones down. Mercenaries. Oh, yeah. Well, which, yeah. which was fun. Oh, just unbelievable blow, fun. Blow stuff up. <laughs> Knights of the Old Republic, yeah. um, Splinter Cell, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Um, You know, and online with... The Max with Payne games were great. Max Payne games. Well. Um, things like, uh, yeah, Rainbow Six, the Forza mm-hmm. Online, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of... But also just the console kind of, uh, like the dashboard and the facilities there yeah. as well. You know, going in, playing, a, um, you know, playing your music, mm-hmm. ripping it off. You yeah. know, and it was all, it was all very green <laughs> but yeah it, it, it was it was a nice it was a good solid bit of kit and it, and it was you know it, it, i just found yeah the games and the interface mm-hmm. great um and that's why i've kind of remained a, an xbox it's fun isn't it i suppose you shouldn't be surprised the amount of times you guys have like mentioned the interface that the mm-hmm. people that made windows made something that was yeah. easy to use and <laughs> well no i mean well, <laughs> what saying it earlier was it like windows in, in xbox X clothing guys, no, yeah. it? It xbox in windows clothing or whatever yeah, <laughs> yeah. but um yeah the, di- the direct xbox the direct xbox i'm so glad they did pc the in a box <laughs> the pc direct xbox <laughs> imagine that is. i mean it, it was the first pc in a box and you know it's obviously it's led to gaming mm-hmm. being That's so the way powerful it is. now so Absolutely. yeah you know happy 20th i think you know it's well deserved i think it's a great console i think it's just nice to it's, it's given some nice memories over the years I'll still be playing Halo 2 till when I'm, when oh, I'm a pensioner. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Um, so guys, um, if you've got any memories that, you know, you want to share with us about the original Xbox, send them down. If you've got any notes and things we can use for our Xbox 360 tribute in five years, <laughs> that'll be great too. Um, so yeah. So from me and the boys, good night. Thanks for listening to today's podcast. We really hope you enjoyed it. You can tweet us at Arcade Attack UK. We're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash arcadeattackuk. 
Check out our website at arcadeattack.co.uk for lots more retro gaming goodness and to delve into our archives. Our podcasts are also available on Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, YouTube and Apple Podcasts. Please leave us a review and a rating, we'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to support Arcade Attack, please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash arcadeattack, which will give you access to exclusive podcasts, interviews and other bonus content. So, until next time, take care and we'll speak to you soon.